How's it going guys, Vesper here. A new patch has hit for Mortal Kombat X on the PlayStation 4 version so far, but they said the Xbox version will be coming as well very soon. And no word at all if it'll be coming out for the PC version. This is a pretty big patch, and what I mean by that is there is a lot of character balance changes, as well as some general fixes. So let's go over the general changes first. Now obviously I'm not going to go through all of them, but you know, the more important ones. So they're continuing to update the frame data in the game. If you guys didn't know, ever since day one in Mortal Kombat X, the frame data, a lot of it is actually incorrect. There's a lot of things that say they're at advantage or disadvantage and they're really not, or they're off by a few frames. And NRS has been continuing to update that every patch and slowly changing it to make sure it's more accurate. I honestly don't know how they can mess up on something like that, but it is what it is. So you might want to go back to your favorite character and check their move list and check the frame data and see if there's any changes. So you guys remember in my option select video when you did a jumping attack and you press 1, 2, and 3 at the same time and it'll just do a random enhanced special move, they took that out of the game. Now recently people have discovered that if you use an enhanced interaction while you're in block stun during the first 10 frames, you can actually cancel out your block stun and jump out or throw them into a wall or whatever the interaction is as long as you use the armored version. So basically you're able to get out of block strings for free if you were standing next to an interaction. Um, they removed this from the game, you can no longer do that during the first 10 frames of your block. I'm actually surprised they changed this, it means that NRS has been keeping a close eye on what the community has figured out so far. Now the biggest general change to this patch is the fact that they changed the matchmaking algorithm for ranked and player matches. So basically, if you have a super high win-loss ratio, you'll be playing against other people with high win-loss ratios. In other words, good players will be playing good players and bad players will be playing bad players. And this is a really welcome change for myself because some people have been complaining they've been playing weaker players too much and there's nothing I could do about it because there's no algorithm that you can actually change. So um, I played a few matches this morning and I noticed I am playing a lot of people who have a lot more games, like 300 plus games rather than like 30 games or less than 30 games. I'm definitely playing people with more experience for sure. Now there's also ping meter accuracy improvements. Now what I thought this meant was just that it'll be able to tell you exactly, you know, a better idea of the guy's lagging or not, if his ping is accurate to what the game is telling me. But from what I noticed, when I played ranked, I started playing green bar people. Now, I never play green bar people, ever. Like, it's been weeks. And uh, just this morning, I played 10 matches, and 10 matches in a row, I got green ping. Four, five bar matches, 10 in a row. Never seen that before. But another thing I noticed is that it takes a lot longer for my matches to happen before it finds me a player to match up with. But remember, I live in Western Canada, so this might be different for you guys with this patch, but this is absolutely huge for me because like, I play Cassie Cage, man. You have no idea how hard it is to do her combos online. It's like, it's insane, dude, compared to someone like Scorpion or Jason. But uh, I'm really liking this change, man. Like I said, I've only played 10 matches, but this is awesome. Now another thing it says in the patch notes is you can now choose to not play a ranked match if the connection is below the set threshold. I don't know what that means exactly, it might mean that if it's like zero ping or a two bar match for example, like below yellow it's like red or nothing, you might be able to opt out and not play your ranked match if you don't want to. I don't know myself, you guys have to tell me because like I said I've just been playing green bar matches. So let me know in the comments below what this is about. But this looks great though. But yeah guys, in general, out of all the patches, this is the biggest breakthrough uh, netcode wise for me so far for Mortal Kombat X. So you guys should definitely hit up the player in ranked matches and check it out because it's been just amazing. A green bar match feels like offline to me. I could do all my combos. It's, uh, it's great. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. It's great. So yeah, the character balance changes now. This is the biggest balance change out of all the patches so far for characters. There's a ton of changes. I'm actually kind of nervous about this because even though I did not play Mortal Kombat 9, um, I know there was a lot of patching going on, like too many patches, and they weren't letting the game settle and letting people get comfortable and working around what people feel is OP and what people feel is a weak character. You know, you really need the time and the community to come together and play it for you know at least a few months man you can't patch the game like every couple weeks it's just it's just too much with that being said there was a huge nerf to cast cage damn that it hurts um it's just kind of bittersweet this patch but anyways they took out a very specific block screen able to special cancel at the end 
Um, to give you guys an idea of what this does is that it lowers her damage pretty much on all of her corner combos by about 5%, a little bit more than 5%. And uh, But the casting community has come together and they've really found alternatives to uh, the combos and still keep her damage up high. I really don't know why they nerfed Cassie. This is Hollywood stance by the way. Hollywood stance um, specifically. I don't feel like Cassie is a top tier character. I feel like she's a mid tier character. Especially her combos. You gotta work so hard to do her combos and they do less damage than like super simple characters like Scorpion for example and Jason once again. Um, anyways, uh, to give you guys an idea of how much this patch changed her combos, I just recently released a Cassie Cage combo video and 90% of that video, all those combos don't work anymore. So that's how big of a change this was. If you guys haven't already seen this outdated combo video, you can check it out on the link above. I'll, you know, show a link and uh, rest in peace combo video. It's just already expired in one day I made it. Pretty funny. Damn, I would have been really salty though if I made the Cassie Cage um, tutorial and then this patch came out then everything I said would have been just useless so I guess I'm happy about that and uh, just so you guys know I will be working on the Cassie Cage um, tutorial soon but it's gonna take me a little bit more time now now that the character has changed a little bit and I have to change up the combos that I'm gonna be teaching you guys so it is what it is now I was hoping that they would do some buffs for Katana and Melina I feel like those characters are pretty weak right now compared to the rest of the cast but they didn't really change much um, Melina's teleport kick and her roll are still just mids. Her overhead is slow as hell, even though I still get hit by it online. And uh, Katana has a, a lot of trouble opening up characters. Um, a lot of her high-low uh, options are not good enough like other characters are. Really hard-hitting characters like Raiden and Kun Jin got some uh, damage scaling nerfs on some of their combos. So it basically just means their combos will be doing a little bit less damage than they were before. Because they were pretty high, man. They were capping up at the 50% mark and uh, Kunjin in particular just does way too much damage for the amount of hits he's doing and how easy his combos are. But yeah guys check it out yourself I'll leave the patch notes in the description of this video so you guys can read it and just see if your character was affected by this patch whether it's a buff or a nerf but you know we will survive. Um, I'm gonna tackle on some more Cassie Cage videos um, the new Cassie Cage now so I gotta update that and uh, then I'll be working on the Cassie Cage tutorial like I said, we'll take it just a little bit more time, and then I'll move on to another character. So yeah, take care everyone, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Cassie wins.